<laughs> yeah, and there's definitely no arrows sticking out, so it's not even worth looking at. Did you have to? Okay, just give me a countdown, somebody. All right, we missed it on the neutral parties should do the countdown. All right, I'll do it. Three, two, one, go. So, what's the general consensus on talking? No talking. Um, you can talk. You're okay. Yeah. Level this three is kind of really minor serious time. Yeah. yeah. The um, beginning what they're of this run going is to go time. for is bombs oh. right away. <laughs> um, so that's why they're killing enemies in a very uh, specific order. <laughs> yes, they're already deviating from the path. Um, <laughs> The way this game works is if you kill a certain number of enemies, there's certain drops that will happen. Um, so they may actually kill like a different number of enemies based on what they're trying to do. Oh, drop. And Breakdown did get a very important bomb drop. <laughs> that's the first opportunity to get and one. So and Jay Prof just got okay. That's really important. You really need bombs going into three because that's where they're starting. This is. This is not a safe route, folks. <laughs> yeah. This is not for the faint I mean, <laughs> Breakdown, <laughs> like, in Pierce Man is saying, oh, man, it starts with level 3, but that's so hard. It'll never happen. You know? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Level 3 first. And uh, Breakdown did say, after playing around with the trap, that it made the game fun again for him. Indeed. It's level 2 first, so, like, it's safe, it's easy, it's good for consistency, but this is, I don't know, adds a dose of danger. Whoa. That, that shot danger. of adrenaline yes. he needs. Yes. And uh, when it comes to bombs, it's not just level 3 where you need them. You need them pretty much throughout all the game. So, uh, there's a lot of randomness factors in this game. So a lot of this game is kind of like adjusting thing to the randomness in the game. Because there's just so many that you're never ever going to get like a perfect luck run. Because it's just not going to happen. There's always going to be one moment where you'll have bad luck and you just got to do it. from Cypher, apparently. <laughs> oh, um, that, that, that one's just backlogged. It's just there for some reason. It's there, okay. Well, you don't <laughs> I mean, it's because it has, like, two for something City of $10. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know how that happened. Oh, I know. I, sorry, that's a bunch of program. Right, Still no, I got, yeah. got to clear this room. Yeah, this I don't is, have enough. This is kind of serious for both of them at this point, so. Okay, I'll shut up. Nice. Nice. Um, Let's go nice. for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going. Jay Prophet, um, you get a little bit of time back that? here. No, not at all. Okay. Um. So when it comes to this game, there's like uh, <laughs> certain enemies will drop certain items, I but really it's not really here. guaranteed what, uh, which items they'll drop. Nice. Nice. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a really nice. Some good luck. Very good luck. Let's see how Jay Prophet's luck goes on this. Spice very luck based. He's very very luck based. Oh, oh, not quite. Oh, oh my god. This could be over right here. This is... Oh, at least he's going really slow. That's a key here. Oh my oh. god. I could actually still catch up here. That's the funny uh, part. Yeah, it's going to be tough now. But I'm that... just going to death warp level 5. Right. That, <laughs> that is the gentleman's <laughs> agreement for the level 5 death warp. That is the risk of going to level 3 first, as that boss is incredibly random. And He's a super troll. You just have to get lucky with, as you saw, Breakdown hit all four heads with the bomb, and J Prophet, like the guy, just moved just a little bit, and he only got three. Yeah, no, Mahamble is the scariest boss in this game. Forget about Ganon. Oh, Mahamble is scary. Yes. <laughs> for this run. Because, I mean, you don't know where he's going to move, so you just have to guess. Yeah, you have to just hope and pray. Safe there. <laughs> Watch, well, definitely one one bomb here. Okay, no, okay. He's yeah. still trolling you. Are you? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, wow. yeah. So hey, he dropped a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he always does as long as you don't get hit, and it hits his centerpiece a bunch of times. Because uh, that counts as an enemy kill every time it hits him in the middle. Uh, you might not know this, but uh, Jay Prophet is actually um, one half of the task team for this game. He does have the task record, the task record for this game, along with Baxter. Yeah, sure. yep, correct. And for those of you who don't know, the game twelve, those uh, little static balls. Um, if you get hit by them, they disable your sword for a couple of seconds. Yeah. 
So getting hit by them is just not good policy. I'm getting beat up here. It's, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> I need all yeah. I can get here. Um, yeah, there is definitely enough luck in this game that Jay Prophet could catch up conceivably. conceivably. This, is, this is not it's over not by any over. means. I'd well, say the start is yeah, the nastiest the part of the game. Well, well, maybe, but there's still it's a lot not of like game level to go. six is easy either, or level nine. Or nine. Yeah. yeah, six and nine. Ooh. Anywhere where there's whiz robes, there are problems. So yeah. they kind of go hand in hand like that. Mike, you've got a baby cake for this. Uh, yes. You'll have to bring your own. Uh, yeah, I brought, brought, brought the phone. Oh, sweet. Wow. wow. Love me, game. Yeah, this, game yeah, is loving me. Game is definitely loving you. Did you get the super drops on those guys? Uh, I got a bomb, uh, which is. Uh, but it was like funny. on probably like the last frame that that guy could have been hit. <laughs> wow, you wait a long time to shoot. Okay, Cleax can only shoot when they have a shot when they don't have a shot on the screen, so they can sit there and just look at you cross side for a while, which uh, makes this fight kind of annoying. And fighting with the sword out of wood does carry with a certain disadvantage. <laughs> Foremost amongst them is that you're fighting with a sword made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> So breakdown is now past the uh, the point where it's very very dangerous and risky. Yeah, can they get a time check? Uh, Six twenty four. That's not really. Good. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Not good. yeah. He's not had bad at all. he's had good drops and played very well so far, and it shows with that time. Yeah. Anything really under seven minutes is is pretty nice. So. So now it's going to be about just picking up some items, getting ready for the next dungeon. Um, you guys might notice Breakdown is counting kind of silently to himself. Um, he's actually counting the number of enemies that he kills because that's going to give him extra information about what potential drops could be coming up. When he what I'm doing right here enemies. actually is um, manipulating a bomb drop. Yeah. So right. it's a uh, tenth enemy has the bomb. It's not just English. Oh no, there's <laughs> rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, seven. Okay, cool trick here. If you exit and re-enter, the locked door at the top becomes unlocked. So that's effectively a key I just got right there. <laughs> and uh, I can't kill these guys. Oh, and there goes my consecutive. Okay, never mind. I guess not too important because I have bombs. It would have been nice to have a full eight though. Yeah, if you can hit, you you have to do it without getting hit. That's correct. Yeah, ten consecutive. Yeah, so it has to be ten consecutive Wee. without getting hit. <laughs> All right, so. everyone, shut up for a second, please. Oh. <laughs> That's why this route is so dangerous. The first two bosses. Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll death warp in 1 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is a uh, death warping that can save time in this game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you get just I have luck boxing here? over here. <laughs> yeah, luck down over here. Crazy. Oh, you got all three of them with one bomb? Uh, I got two of them with one bomb and I got a drop. Oh. So. That's pretty sick. It's like yeah. uh, he said in previous marathons, I'd rather be lucky than good. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and the fly is so hard to this game sometimes. Yes, it does. He's getting that Yama luck with the bomb drops. I'm sure Darkwing Duck knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Dark, Darkwing <laughs> Duck's head's exploding right now at the drops. That break down <laughs> yeah. <his head>. yeah. <laughs> nah, he's probably sitting this out. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's counting. counting. He's, he's doing the enemy counting. He's probably keeping track of both of us, actually. Yeah. Simultaneously. <laughs> Alright, a little serious time here. Oh, fine. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go for Get away oh, wow. from me! Oh, he's oh, wow. chasing you. Oh, that guy has the anger of God within him. 
<laughs> there we go. Yeah, the game is like really trolling Jay Prophet pretty hard. Uh, his luck has been horrendous thus far. It's like the yin and yang of one break. Right yeah, it's, it's, it is really like complete opposite. It's going to show. Like, like the skill's pretty equal. I've seen these guys both do 38s. Yeah, they have 38s pretty consistently. Yes, very consistently. Consistently, as Jim's luck is consistently. But um, now that they're both past uh, stage four, it's a lot easier right now because stage one, as you can see, is like no challenge after you've done two jump dungeons. Yeah, it's it's pretty downhill for a while here. Yeah, not a lot of risk for a little bit. Like, yeah. Oh, not yeah, anymore. You're on the internet now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Say it is not safe with breakdown. Can we try for a roll call? Let's just do it by name since there's yes. so many people in the room. I, um, on the very right is Sinister One. The man playing the game right now to the right of me is uh, Breakdown, also known as Luckdown right now. <laughs> and uh, Mike <laughs> Um Sitting in the chair, also. Uh, Racing Breakdown is uh, J Prophet 22. The man right here is uh, Dragon Dark. Uh, I don't know exactly who's appearing on the camera. So you, uh, uh, sinister to J Prophet, basically. Okay. And I'm taking damage here. What about everybody. Um, the people in the corner over there? Uh, we can see Pooh Train, but that's yeah. about it. Fine. So well, Radix um, is behind J Prophet. Radix, we need my camera. No, you want the right, um, <laughs> The man over there is Pooh Train, Toryu, uh, Carrie, Feasel, Butters BB, uh, sure, Hiding Behind Waters, waters is uh, Topa. Uh, this, this isn't serious for you guys right now, so I'd like to present something. So I would like you guys to oh, donate for the Save a Frame Foundation. That was <laughs> this, man, <laughs> this man came over from Sweden, and he currently does not have a game to play because currently Link's Awakening. Is w is winning the donation war, and this poor man would like to save many many frames in his run of Oracle of Seasons. So if you would give this man a chance, please donate for Oracle of Seasons as the as the Game Boy Zelda um, on uh, tomorrow actually. What's the right now? I think it's like 500 something Link's Awakening and 100 something for. Uh, it was for the headline. Yeah, it was you do the quick kill bomb on? Yes. I got one bomb. I got a one bomb kill on him. Kind of by accident, oh. but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> they already had to run the run with Sentry with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, he's like, I can't top that. I did yeah. the W fist. Foundation, fifty from me and ten from Trekhop toward our full seasons. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have prizes for this game, right? We do have prizes for this game. We have many, 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 many perlers. Um, so if someone could get them from the box, that would be great. I totally forgot about that. Thank you for my yeah, I wasn't cool. donating for that, but I need to get my wallet's in my pocket. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll donate for you. Alright, I'll get you back. Um, Alright, can you break a 10 in the cash box? And this is for breakdown. And uh, towards or I can't uh, actually break a 10, sort of. What am I breaking it into? Um, I, I'm putting in 5 um, for breakdown. Or uh, just get, for a chance to win one of those colors. And put it towards top of this game, the Saber Frame Foundation. Yes, to the Saber Frame Foundation. foundation. Okay. All right, so the only foundation I think that's better than the Saber Frame Foundation is the Prevent yeah, Cancer yeah, Foundation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, the foundation where uh, all of your donations will go towards. I'm actually uh, fairly dire. Okay. Uh, what? Research. I'm low on movies right now. I don't know any of the names of these things, but I'm going to show the perlers. Maybe somebody can call out the names that knows them. I'm just going to show these off. A little further down. That's good. Okay, there's your mob one. Stealthos. Stealthos. Clearly not a skeleton of any kind. Ocula. That one I actually knew. Whiz robe. A blue whiz robe at that. <laughs> Be careful, folks. If you played the game, yeah, the funny situation is not. For the longest time, I thought that was a mouth, but it's, I guess it's an amulet. And that is a. Oh, you want. No drops. 
<laughs> not sure what it's called. Wall master. Wall master. Wall master. Wall master. Oh. He's, he's coming to get you. Dirt bag. <laughs> you gotta get your money. <laughs> that too. Uh, and the last one. Oh, that's is... a shark. You got that this one. Yes, I do. Yes, there we go. Okay. Blue dark nut. What? No, no, it's not me donating. It's breaking. And you need a. Is it five? Yeah, it's going to do it. Because the wallet. Yeah, are those three memory cards? Where's that? Okay. So this is so whoever wins it gets the full set. Yeah, it's a full set. Getting medicine is a safety measure. Time is rapidly running out if you want in on some of the early Final Fantasy character names. It's uh, Cloud and Barrett get named pretty much right at the beginning. We'll see if I shortly after. Barrett old Bobby? You're getting like no drops. Old Bobby is winning for Barrett by a long shot. <laughs> um, we will I tell. I can tell that story when FF7 starts and you name Barry. Variance is going to turn in your favor soon. Old Bobby. Variance doesn't have as much a part from here. <laughs> and what's he going to do? He's going to troll. Yeah. What you want that guy to do is walk to the right, if I'm not mistaken, so you can just uh, walk past. Oh, him. oh, oh yeah. 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 So this is getting interesting now because Breakdown's gonna be having to deal with some uh, nasty blue dark nuts coming up pretty soon, and uh, the, the, the he's gonna be low on hearts. That this was time. the only thing that was donated. Unless you donated too. I don't know. <laughs> So I was saying earlier, the only uh, foundation that's better than the Save a Frame Foundation is the Prevent Cancer Foundation, a great charity dedicated to prevent cancer through uh, research, outreach, and education. I got a boost there. Oh, man. Oh, J Profit just saved some frames. <laughs> 12 frames save. Uh, what makes level nine is, uh, five especially annoying is um, blue dark nuts. They are jerks. They, they take a ton of hits, and you have to hit them on the side. And when they turn, is pretty much random. No, not that one. Well, these guys are headhunters. They definitely are. On your right, behind you. Oh, oh. And they do a lot of damage. To them. Oh no! Ooh. Oh, that man. resets every hit he just did on all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I killed one of them, so I only lost like I only lost like two hits actually. Yeah, but that's, that's I mean that's still really. Important. And you got the three transitions. Yeah. That was. Uh... Now, for those of you saying, "Wow, um, the, do these dungeon rooms like repeat themselves in other dungeons?" Actually, they do. I think you're yeah. is your anchor in the room because he could do a better job of explaining why. It's well, basically the. Um, the internal map, it just stores the entire room at once, so there's just a bunch of, there's like 32 different rooms or something like that that it, that it refers to. I mean, each, each, each room has, a, you know, can have different enemy layouts and different door layouts and all that, but uh, the block layouts, there's only like 32 different ones, something like that. I get a time check, actually. I know where I'm supposed to uh, 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. You go the memory on the world map. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Breakdown's playing a little safe here, and he has the luxury to do so. Yeah, I'm going to catch up a little bit. I don't know if yeah, luxury is, is the word to say with that many hearts. So, um, I, if I'm not... Oh, wow. That was, that was very nice use of bombs there. Alright, so, um, he's not using bombs all the time, because they do the same amount of damage as a sword, but the thing is, bombs can hit multiple dark... No, actually, bombs, no, bombs, bombs do hit twice as much as the white sword. Yes. I am good at that. knowledge of this game. You just beat this game like... like <laughs> exactly. I just watched this movie a lot. But see, now that I beat the game, I'm like, I'm really excited to watch the race. We are pro yeah, much more appreciation yeah. <laughs> for how much is involved. Yeah. I don't know, like, half of the stuff that's involved. I got pretty good luck on that. I only know most of it because I watched Darkwing Duck's two minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I have to give a uh, shout out to Darkwing Duck. Uh, he's probably in the stream chat right now. His Twitch name is Darkwing Duck SDA. And. He um, he j recently submitted a run that is a very, very good run. Uh, no up plus A. Up plus A is the warp on the second controller. And uh, so it's a deathless, a uh, no up plus A, and it's something like 34, 36 or something. 34, 38. 38. 34, 38. 38. It's really good. <laughs> and he is very, very thorough with his knowledge of this game. Like, he knows all the drops and their percentages and everything.
Well, yeah, we're in the same castle again, or dungeon again, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darkwing actually uses a much more aggressive route. Instead of going to two like these two guys did, he goes straight to five. And then... But he also resets like 800 times. So. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, his route is not marathon. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not. not. But he he needs to get certain drops, and he's, he's resetting a lot before he gets out of three. Yeah. I think Breakdown was talking about an all out up A route that would actually go to eight before it goes to two, yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure that's faster. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. It's a lot harder, and you have but to get really lucky to get through eight quickly under those circumstances. Quickly and alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's an important and of course, question. control you all the way over to yeah. uh, much quicker than breakdown. And I'll attempt to utilize a death warp in this room. Oh. Or after this room. Gentlemen's agreement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that went out the window. Come wow. here. Come here, you douchebags. Come here, come here. Actually, collecting hearts if you don't get hit right. saves um, a chunk of time on the health count at the end, so it was actually worth it to go out of the way for that part. It's okay. incredibly fast health count. Indeed. Actually, this came up before Mario 3, right? Way, way before. Uh, this is 1987. Mario 3 is 1996. Yeah. This is 86. Oh, 86. Whoops. I am so, so good cool. with the information. <laughs> so, can I quickly follow up some stuff? Go for yeah, it. Sure. Do it. Uh, winner of the Metroid artwork was Eric Kozil. Congratulations. Uh, winner of the Metroid hat was Sean Kelly. We'll be sending out emails asking for. Address information, yes, that's what we need. Uh, at some point after the marathon, but yes. no sooner. Yes, um, please wait a week or two, because we kind of want to relax a bit after the marathon, so uh, after all the work that's been put in, so... We won't forget about you. Yeah, don't worry. Like, it's all stored in the program. Okay, what about the thing, like the donations you want to call those up to? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, these are probably going to be a little old. I... Dollar from Gabriel Legros. Uh, hi, so this has been a failure story. I've donated thirty dollars twice. Didn't we hear this one already? I yeah. think so. I think that one's yeah. okay. Fair enough. You don't get a second shot. <laughs> you get one. Um, thirty dollars from Isaac Jinks. No comment. Ten dollars from Timothy Lang. No comment. Uh, ten dollars from Robert. Robert McBride Jr., uh, with this donation I hope to win all the Metroid things. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, shout out to my brother Tim, who's donated multiple times throughout this marathon. USA guys are inspiration. Uh, I can you well, mention that even if the comment gets read out late, I still didn't win I see, yes, yes. Uh, your donations came in at the time that they were sent. We didn't miss that. It's just that there's been a lot going on, so I haven't been able to actually yell oh, that yeah, out for you. Okay. But you were entered for the prize drawing, I assure you. You have the SMK Awesome Programmer Java Wizard guarantee that you were in that drawing. Um, Java never breaks. Yeah, Java never guy. breaks. Believe <laughs> me, I know this kind of thing. Um, yes, you guys are an nice. inspiration, and I hope you to have you guys out here in California someday soon. Like, okay, sure, maybe. Right. Okay. Die cancer, you don't belong in this world. From Bobby McBride, Elsa knows Bobby Holmes, so and long live Lunk. I okay, that was attached to Lunk. Excellent. I I guess you're happy about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> $20 from Brent Eads, uh, Epsilon, Zelda 1, Sharks, 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 uh, Sharks is approximately, I don't even want to count how many times Sharks is bring out. Times 30, whatever. Sure, times 30, we'll deal with it. Or maybe it was 20, because it was $20, who knows. Okay. Thank yeah. you for your donation. This is highly unfortunate. Uh, $10. $10 from Pan White, no comment. Sweet. This usually doesn't have to be done, but I haven't gotten enough coin drops. Uh, so I gotta get this other hundred secret over here. Coins? I don't know anything about coins. He needs to have at least 140 Are there coins. Maybe? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Worth it. All those coins. <laughs> um, twenty dollars from John Hisher. Here's some money for cancer don't fighting. Throw me. Uh, congrats on the exactly one hour zero mission. Throw those twenty dollars from Monkey Majora's Mask, one of the many lunks that are currently in the running. Uh, $10 from James Greer. Good job, Uranium, on the Super Metroid run so far. Also, I'd like to donate, uh, this $10 to go to Pinkie Pie for FF7. Alright, so what's so dangerous about a hand room for a breakdown is that if those hands grab him, he gets just sent to the beginning of the dungeon. Maybe it's right outside the dungeon. Either way, it this really is sucks. This is back before Zelda was a forgiving game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, $30 from Susan Tennant. Uh -huh, no comment. 
Uh, ten dollars from even Yvonne Verbeam, Tifa for esports, and forward to the Zelda race. Well, here it is. Uh, ten dollars from Mathieu Patouin. Good job. The marathon is very entertaining and motivates me to try speed running some games. I'd like to put my money towards one of the best games ever, Donkey Kong Country 2. Will do. Ah, uh, lovely. And why did I think that's meant to go then? Uh, possibly. Anyone? I will. I'm not checking it. Uh, ten dollars from <laughs> Sebastian Vitli. Vitli. Beat the dough. Where, where's Tigger? Uh, great marathon. Put my money towards Oracle of Seasons. It's a perfect awareness grazing razor for global warming. Okay, inside joke maybe. Oracle of Seasons. Oracle of Seasons. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> very clever. You, you Germans. I don't know. Um, thirty dollars from Janet Darko. Thank you for the great speed runs, guys. You guys are really doing great. Thank you for my donation for DKC two. We have meat. You <laughs> DKC two is in. Wow. Hey. Hey. So I believe that's going to be played after part one of FF7. It, it's going to be uh, played instead of setup three. Sorry, setup fans, you'll just oh. have to wait. <laughs> you'll just have to wait until oh. next year. What the hell? Just getting cut. <laughs> 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 at least yeah, come no, on. Three's where, where the series starts going downhill. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Well, okay. I think two is better, but seriously. Anyways, oh, um, why are you guys so cynical about three? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not as good. Anyways, uh, ten dollars for Samuel from Samuel Roberts. Ten dollars for Epsilon as the well, Legend Zelda name. Shout out to Sharks. Again. So much sharks. Uh, $5 from Matthew Bowden. Uh, thank you guys for doing this. I was hoping to contribute more than this, but that's all I have left from my debit card. Keep up the good work. $5 from David Arnold. I am sad that I am Darkwing Duck didn't win the final name contest. I would have been so, so happy. Oh well, here's hoping for a sub 36 Zelda run. Also nice to see to get some Zelda pearls, and since I really need to put five dollars worth something, I would like, yeah, really like Waff for Cloud. Did, did we already say that one? Waff wow for Cloud, or was that just added to it? Sorry, replacing your health. Was that it? Like, healing the damage. I guess that he didn't mark it as done. I'm gonna use the program, guys. Um, yeah, get with the program. <laughs> Casey Tritton donated $5. Yeah, that's the last bomb job I actually wow. need. Biggest prize is still to come. Awesome job, guys. Please don't be nervous. Work. I get another one for these guys. Also, if possible, uh, put this right, in my last one. Here's the alternate strategy. Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, what really sucks about level 6 is that the first dungeon with wiz robes in them, and, uh... Ooh. Ooh, they are not very nice, as you no, can see. They, yeah, exactly. So, what sucks about orange boys' robes, um, they're easier to kill, but um, they, 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 hit, they hit so hard, it's four damage. But yeah. blue res robes only do two damage, but they have no hits done, so if you hit them, they will just feel like walking in. If you like walking in, you, you get hit, because they're jerks. What they do. And, like, when I was doing my first uh, Zelda 1 playthrough, Your like... only playthrough. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> thank you. The, the pro over here. Yeah, yeah. the pro. He's in veteran. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the dungeon where I died the most. Oh, and how long was your speed run like? Uh, it was about three hours. I mean, Darkwing Duck got some trouble. I can see a little time on the counter. Uh, yes. Can I keep going or? Oh yeah, go. go. Because we're getting back low here. Yeah, Not yeah, a bad thing, good. but we are. Um, ten dollars from deep deep. Guitar Erdmann, uh, hello and greetings from Germany. Sounds German. Uh, Five dollars from Christina Miller. No comment. Twenty dollars from Eve Jablon. Jablon, maybe. Uh, no comment. Ten dollars from David Lutzler, I think, or maybe Lurzler. I'm not sure whether to pronounce that in. Uh, ten dollars towards Philippe Bruno. I gave ten dollars to save the animals, but also to save people from something awful. Well, sorry about that. Not happening. <laughs> uh, five dollars for Joel Pru. Pru with an X at the end. Uh, no comment. Twenty dollars from Jeremy Demont. Uh, keep up the good work, everyone. That supports Everlasting Love, also known as the best song in uh, We Love Katamari. Got J pop band in the house. Trolling me, man. That was close, actually. Oh, that was. Wow. Ten dollars. Having a good day. 
from uh, Rebecca Grimming Art of Floors. I never use coasters, but definitely want to, definitely will if I can get my hands on some of the Zelda themed ones. I'll be like fighting evil with my coffee mug, evil and coffee circles. Yes, those are two things that those coasters can solve. Uh, Matthew Lee, unpronounceable name here, unpronounceable here again. How's that unpronounceable? Okay, I just want His to name is Mokley Joe. Oh, Mokley Joe. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, okay, welcome to doing ten dollars unpronounceable here again. Just wants to give massive props to all chat mods. Uh, keeping the internet at large civil is easy and appreciate their time donations to randomly chosen mod Raukin. Oh, Raccoon, sorry, he towards whatever he wants. So Raccoon, what do you want to donate something for? I already did Okay, he wants the rival name to be something, I don't know what it is, and we don't have time to know. We have to go Twenty dollars from Thomas Dabrowski, no comment. $300 from Matthew Hume. Uh, oh, one comment. Wow. Thank oh, you very yeah. much. That's a huge donation. Hume? Last year around this time of year. Uh, huh? Hume. 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 All caps, too. Matthew Hume. Okay. Just a minute. Uh, last year around this yeah. time of year, I lost a close friend named Arthur, not to cancer, but to heart disease. His family asked those close to him to donate instead uh, of offering any condolences. I chose to donate to this charity not because of its cause, but because of those of you at SDA. Growing up in New Games, were forbidden to buy by my parents, having matured in early age and being eccentric, something he was never afraid of to be himself, he had trouble making friends, this goes on and on. Uh, we met a lot of years ago, she she read it out. video games. You, should, you really should read it out. You should. Yeah, yeah, really. I can't follow this. this, this doesn't make any well, we sense. somebody else to read it. That's yeah, I don't, don't, don't close your phone. Can somebody else read? I'm actually yeah. really tired right now. It's alright, it's alright. Open it. Sure done. Yeah. Comma period plus minus full and semicolon the only symbols. Last year around this time of year, I lost a close friend named Arthur. Not cancer, but heart disease. His family asked those close to him to donate instead of offering any condolences. I choose to donate to this charity not because of the cause, but because of those of you at SDA. Growing up, video games were forbidden by his parents. Having matured at an early age and being an eccentric who was never afraid to be himself, he had trouble making friends. We met 11 years ago in grade 9, and after many visits after school, my friends and I exposed him to the magic of video games. He was awful, but he loved every <laughs> second of this. He never felt ashamed whenever he crossed the finish line last or lost all his lives first. Over the next 10 years, he would come and learn his way around a controller, and when he moved out, even got an Xbox of his own. He was blown away when he downloaded Portal, for free thanks to Valve, and it took away his entire weekend. It felt great to be able to chat with him about his experience with video games, not as a mentor and a people, but as equals. It was around this time when he was taken from us. This is why I'd like to make him a part of the world of video games but one more time by naming Clyde Method 7 after him. Gone but not forgotten, this was for you, Arthur. What was it for? Uh, naming Cloud Arthur. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much. And it was a $300 donation. No, yeah. Very touching person. That's probably There's touching definitely a lot of these absolutely. kind of personal yeah. stories this yeah. marathon, especially about people taking too soon. Definitely, you know, worthy yeah, cause to get behind. It just kind of stresses the importance of mm -hmm. right, risky so stress. Well, well, we're supporting yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Preventing yeah. cancer before it happens. Okay, cool. Let's see. Donation from Gabriel Porton, five hundred dollars. Congrats on that SM run. You're in your maker. Shame about Ridley. I hate him with a burning passion. On to the split of the donation money. Firstly, oh, two hundred fifty to help my friend named Eris Sheath. Really, that's all she's good for. <laughs> oh. wow. uh, the remainder of the money will go towards ensuring that the DKC2 Contra 3 goals are met. Remainder of the funds can go to Oracle of Seasons. Again, best of luck for the remainder of the marathon. Let's see this $80,000 80, gold met. So, Contra 3, 1 controller, 2 people co op is $125. Ball Fantasy 7, Eris name, Sheep. Alright, give me some serious time for a second, please. Some serious time. I don't want to have to use a potion here if I can help it. Nice. 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 Every single way up fight, you've had one of those guys just following you yeah. around everywhere. Uh, and uh, he gave us $125 to Oracle of Seasons, which puts Oracle of Seasons ahead by $72, so? uh -huh. yes. yeah. 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 Hey. Right. Okay, so uh, just a quick update on donation total. We're now at $67,000. Wow. wow. wow.
talking started. We're a bit tired. <laughs> this is the worst room in the game that Breakdown is in right Indeed. now. This room sucks. Yeah. Nice yeah. to have offensive bombs for it. Definitely. Uh, yeah, which is amazing. So you got to kill Pathro for bombs. Yeah. Well, I got to drop in the last room. Oh. Oh. And it's oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh. The luck down. Oh. <laughs> this is wow. uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really <laughs> coming out of his ears in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's pretty much no way I can catch up here unless you guys uh, are like Ganon or not with, the, what, not with, with two medicines. He's got two medicines, yeah. He could mess up and just not use it in time. <laughs> it could happen. Anything could happen. I guarantee Darkwing Duck is groaning at home over that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. I, if his computer screen isn't smashed in already. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, man! Serious. No, you just, just said great now. Come on. You just said darn I'm upset now. Alright. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Daniel Lee with the thirty dollar donation. I would like to put this all towards Barrett for the gold. Oh wow. So <laughs> that was so, a terrible room. Uh, Missed the manipulation. Uh, if you don't mind me uh, explaining something. So Yamalak, when I played through my only time thank you for clarifying that. Um Your basically only three hour time. Yeah, only three hour time. Um basically I got bomb drops every other drop. Like Darkwing Duck was so pissed at me when he was watching me play the game. Or fairies, whatever was appropriate. Yeah, exactly. At the time. Like, it, I was just blessed with the luck. Oh my god, he shot! I've never seen that before in my happen. life. I told you. <laughs> never. That's how racist. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, how could you get that there? <laughs> and just in case you needed a fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was on off. That was a good patch oh, from Jay Park side. Yeah, that was, that was really good. good. Uh, cool Maddie with a cool donation of $20. Brooks Crack Tackle for everyone. Yep. What's name? Eris Brooks. <laughs> Saber Brooks Foundation Marshall Explosives. Yeah. Now it's time to marshal people. Jacob Westerberg, no comment. Ten dollars. Alright. Nice for a little with bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like a yeah, can we, can he we destroys Patrick. He doesn't need to serve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just. Oh, I just wasted just my clock in the you. Zol room. Yeah. Level nine is yeah pretty hairy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say let's just. Let's <laughs> let's see see we'll we'll call yeah. it again. Oh. Wow. 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 Thirty-seven forty-two. Wow. wow. <laughs> See if I can get sub forty-one. Uh, real quick, uh, Sean Kelly actually said he already has the Metroid hat, so he wanted to redo the draw for that. So the new winner is Leo Manelli. Congratulations. Alright. Okay. Awesome. Alright, next up we have Nicholas Benzie with a one hundred twenty dollar donation. Oracle of Seasons for the win. So further leading for Oracle of Seasons. With the Frame Foundation. <laughs> Save the Frame Foundation is very happy. Oh, Save the yeah. Frame Foundation is looking strong. <laughs> Ryan Voigt with a five dollars donation towards naming what? Chief of oh, Oxnor. Oh, these guys are going far. This is that terrible room again, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. So maybe we'll see. They cooperated. I mean, we're nowhere near the nastiest parts of. Uh, I'd well, say the start is yeah, the nasty. Well, maybe, but there's still it's a lot of game like to go. It's not like level six is easy either, or level nine. nine. Yeah. yeah, six and nine. Anywhere where there's whiz ropes, there are problems. So yeah. they kind of go hand in hand like that. Mike, you've got a baby cake Uh, yes. You'll have to bring your own. Uh, yeah, I brought my yeah, brother. Oh, oh, sweet. Uh, wow. Loving me, game. Yeah, this, game yeah, is loving me. Game is definitely loving me right now. What, did you get the super drops on those guys? Uh, I got a bomb, uh, which is. Uh, but it was like on um, probably like the last frame that that guy could have been hit. <laughs> wow, you wait a long time to shoot. Okay, Cleax can only shoot when they have a shot when they don't have a shot on the screen. So they can sit there and just look at you cross-eyed for a while, which uh, makes this fight kind of annoying. 
And fighting with a sword out of wood does carry with a certain disadvantages. <laughs> Foremost amongst them is that you're fighting with a sword made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Breakdown is now past the uh, the point where it's very very dangerous. <laughs> Safe there. Get out of there. Oh, I don't have to waste any more bombs here. <laughs> Watch, definitely one one bomb here. No, okay. He's still trolling you. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you dropped a bomb. <laughs> he always does as long as you don't get hit and it hits his centerpiece a bunch of times. Because uh, that counts as an enemy kill every time it hits him in the middle. Uh, you might not know this, but uh, Jay Prophet is actually uh, one half of the task team for this game. Uh, he does have the task, rec the task record for this game along with Baxter. Uh, yep, correct. And for those of you who don't know the game, well, those uh, little static balls. Um, if you get hit by them, they disable your sword for a couple of seconds. Yeah. So getting hit by them is just not good policy. I'm getting beat up here. It's a good thing. <laughs> I need all yeah. I can get here. Um, yeah, there is definitely enough luck in this game that J-Profit could catch up conceivably. conceivably. This, is, this is not over it's not by over any it. means. It's a little too first to like it's safe, it's easy, it's good for consistency, but this is, I don't know, adds a dose of danger. Whoa, that shot of danger. adrenaline yes. he needs! Yes. And uh, when it comes to bombs, it's not just level 3 right you, you need them pretty much throughout all the game. So, uh, there's a lot of randomness factors in this game. So, a lot of this game is kind of like adjusting thing to the randomness in the game. Because there's just so many that you're never ever going to get like a perfect luck run because it's oh. just not going to happen. There's always going to be one moment where you'll have bad luck and you just got to do it. Oh my god. Okay, uh, $10 from Cypher apparently? <laughs> oh, um, that, that, that one's just backlogged. It's just there for some it's there, okay. Well, you don't I think it's do because it has like two for Sunken City at $10. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know how that happened. Oh, I know. I, I'm sorry. That's a bunch of program. Right. Still no, I got, yeah. got to clear this room. Yeah, this I don't is, have enough. This is kind of serious for both of them at this point. So. Okay, I'll well, shut up. Nice one. Nice. Oh, Let's nice. go for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> yeah, and there's definitely no arrows sticking out, so it's not even worth looking at. <laughs> Did you have to? Okay, <laughs> any countdown, somebody? Alright, we so missed it on. Neutral party should do the countdown. Alright, I'll do it. Three, two, one, go! So, what's the general consensus on talking? No talking? Um, you can talk. You're okay. Yeah. Level this three is kind of really minor serious time. Yeah, yeah. the um, beginning of this run is to go time. for is bombs right away. <laughs> um, so, that's why they're killing enemies in a very uh, specific way. Order? <laughs> yes, they're already deviating from the path. Um, the way this game works is if you kill a certain number of enemies, there's certain drops that will happen. Um, so they may actually kill like a different number of enemies based on what they're trying to do. And Breakdown did get a very important bomb drop. <laughs> that's the first opportunity to get and one. And so Profit. Just got okay. That's really important. You really need bombs going into three because that's where they're starting. This is. This is not a safe route, folks. <laughs> yeah. This is not for the faint I mean, uh, Breakdown, like, in Pierce is saying, oh, man, you start with level 3, but that's so hard. It'll never happen. You know? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> yeah, are. Level 3 first. And uh, Breakdown did say, after playing around with the strategy, that it made the game fun again for him. Indeed. j Prophet um, may get a little bit of time back, back here. No, not at all. Okay, Um. so when it comes to this game, there's, like, uh, C certain enemies will drop certain items, but really it's not really here. guaranteed wh um, which items they'll drop. Nice. Oh, oh wow, God. that's a really nice. Very good, luck. very good luck. Let's see how J Profit's luck goes on this. This fight's very luck based. He's very, very luck based. Oh, oh no. not quite. Oh, oh my God. This could be over right here. This is. Oh, at least he's going really slow. That's a key here. Oh my oh. god. Oh. 
I can actually still catch up here. That's the funny uh, part. Yeah, it's going to be tough now. But I'm that, just going to death warp level 5. Right. That, that <laughs> is the <laughs> gentleman's agreement for the level 5 death warp. That is the risk of going to level 3 first, is that boss is incredibly random. And He's a super troll. You just have to game. get lucky with, as you saw, breakdown, hit all four heads with the bomb, and J-Prophet, like the guy just moved just a little bit, and he only got three. Yeah, no, Mahamba is the scariest so, boss in this game. Forget about Ganon. Oh, Mahamba is scary. Yes. <laughs> for this run. Because, I mean, you don't know where he's going to move, so you just have to guess. Yeah, you have to just hope and pray. 